Uh, if so I can I mean, add a uh, few words about uh, uh, Ganesh, because I got to, uh, in fact, I thought of him only a uh, little while ago and uh, requested whether he could come and uh, uh, talk to the people, talk to the students and motivate. Uh, he, uh, Ganesh uh, uh, was a gold medalist uh, in his uh, BE from uh, Ramravadik, Mumbai University. And then he worked at uh, uh, AMD for many years. And he, led, he was an engineering director. He led uh, several, uh, uh, several processors, microprocessors uh, design. Now he's one of the people who founded the, uh, the processor division, microprocessor division at Tesla. And uh, Tesla uh, electric cars, you're all uh, familiar with. So we are really, really delighted to have uh, Ganesh with us. Ganesh, please, please go ahead. Sure. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Kanan. Uh, thanks, Yash, uh, Kunal, and uh, uh, Dr. Sarasabhute. Um, pretty honored to talk to uh, all of uh, the young participants here. Uh, somehow, I feel like I should go back in time uh, and, and actually relive my student days right now uh, with the kind of facilities, the kind of uh, work that is going on. Uh, during my days, I did my master's after my bachelor's from uh, Bombay University at uh, IIT Delhi uh, in the field of integrated electronics. And it, it, it used to be for the master students, we had to share um, a PC with PhD folks uh, and we would get like two hours a week. Um, that was the maximum we could get. Um, and then all of this work that you're doing in open source, I, I could only have, like I couldn't have imagined in my wildest dream that it will be possible. Uh, and it's so delighting to, delighted to see that um, the amount of work that is going on in the open source, that, that's the foundation. So, so you have a lot of, um, tools, resources available. The one part which defines success in, in my viewpoint is the curiosity that a student has. Uh, the more curious you are, the more you'll explore. Uh, you will fail uh, on many things, but you will learn from it. Uh, the next time around, you won't fail the same way. Uh, that's how I learned uh, these um, um, circuit design tools to um, um, simulate even the simplest things. Uh, some people question like, why uh, should we go through this? This is your foundation. Like I, I, I still have used many of those same foundational aspects uh, to date uh, in my job. And it, it, it's so fundamental in what we do in design and we don't realize when we are young uh, going through this um, uh, as to how it'll come in use. Uh, but all, of, all I want you all to remember is if you're curious, start building, start hacking a few things, you will learn and, and that's it. keep continuing that curiosity. Uh, that's the best formula for success. And, and with these kind of tools uh, available, um, I feel um, uh, it, it's, it's a new era where innovation will start up front. Uh, it, it won't wait for folks to learn uh, in their job. Like by the time you graduate from your respective uh, colleges, you would have acquired a lot of the skills that industry is looking for. Um, and then, um, I, I, I would just say a lot of what um, I saw in the eSIM package can be put to use uh, today. I, I, I mean, when the pandemic hit, I was involved in a project at Tesla to create, um, 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 create some of the medical equipments needed um, here in US. And um, including um, 
respiratory devices and um, uh, many small things, even small things that people were struggling with is an alarm system if something goes wrong in a hospital. So right now uh, with what India has gone through, uh, hopefully everything will go back to normal pretty soon. But these are the tools, these are the things which will come handy no matter where you are. Um, this is the skill set you can use either in your day-to-day -day job or in, in order to help in a crisis. I mean, these things will come handy in many different situations, many different scenarios. And that's where uh, the fundamentals that it will teach you, the curiosity that you have, uh, the combination of that uh, will it, it is a great formula for success. So please keep that uh, going, be curious, develop as many things. Uh, some things are simple, but just, just reinforces um, uh, what is right, what is wrong in terms of uh, the simplest things, you build upon that and build the next complex thing and the next complex thing. So uh, that's that's the best formula for all of you. And, and I, I'm pretty delighted, like I would personally like to see uh, how this effort goes uh, because these, these circuits, um, they are the key for innovation. Uh, even though the abstraction levels of GH, GHDL and other aspects are there, but it starts from very basic things. Uh, my father, who was a uh, electronics professor also, he, he said the functional aspects of device does not change, be it vacuum tubes, be it bipolar devices, be it CMOS, next will be quantum devices. Um, that fundamental aspect of the device doesn't change. And this is, this is a perfect tool to teach you the fundamentals. So keep that curiosity going. Thank you. Thanks, Ganesh.